Hello, peoples. Uh, I had a request from Miss Izzy House to uh, show you a little bit of what I do in Adobe Premiere to produce Windfluence. As you can see, I'm producing next week's episode, which is with Deb Reckerling. Uh So uh, this is my Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're familiar with it at all, you kind of know your timeline is down here and all these little things are elements. So if you click back to the very beginning, I have this pre-recorded, um, you know, sexy intro for the show. Do you want Instagrammers or TikTokers to... That was done by a Fiverr person uh, that I just found and said, hey, here's my logo, here's my video, animate this and make it look sexy. Um, and so when I, I'll zoom in here at the very end of this, that, that transitions into this. Welcome to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. The theme music comes up. Hello again, friends. Thanks for tuning And so I fade into my little intro. And basically, if you zoom in on the timeline, you can see this little brown thing right here is the fade out, which is a cross dissolve over here in your video transitions. I have the Windfluence bug up here at the top. That's this little booger right here. And so if I were to devisualize that, it goes off. But I keep the Windfluence bug up there. So I got my logo and my branding. Also have my little name name the influence marketing here. pod. The nameplate there, the lower third, is something I create. It's a transparent PNG file. I create that in Photoshop, so it looks all fancy. You can do the same thing in Adobe Premiere, but I don't know how to use those tools quite as well as I know how to use Photoshop. So I just create it in there and import it in as an image. And so when you import your sources in, uh, you can they come into your library here, and you can click and drag them. So here's the Deborah Eckerling one. So if I go over here, you can see this. That's the other lower, lower third that I'll be using in this episode. Anyway, so I've got my intro. Uh, let me expand this out a little bit. And then in the middle of my intro, I've got a little Scipio deal where I have some B-roll that covers me up. And then I, I actually made a mistake here, so I had to do this little edit. Watch this. Three, I've seen the prototypes. While we fully... So what I did there is I screwed up... Uh, you know, I fumbled my words here. So instead of recutting the whole thing, I just did a quick edit uh, to pick up where I left off and put a little transition in there. So types while we full. And so if you edit it tight, make the transition tight, you see that little fade, but you don't really see it if you're not paying too close of attention and still sounds like the show's uninterrupted. And then I've got a little lower third here with my Scipio stuff. Now, uh, the thing that Izzy wanted to know was the transitions. And so when I uh, uh, did the uh, uh, Fiverr guy who did the intro, I also had them do, uh, or I, I cut this out of it. So this is my transition back from commercial break. It's actually just a static image. It's actually just a static image with the theme music. So here's the static image file. Here's the theme music, and I've got it edited in Adobe Audition to fade out at a certain point. And so when I get to the next on Winfluence, I take a second or two pause in the file, and I have that transition coming back from commercial break. This is actually, this gap is where I insert my dynamic audio insert for my first mid-roll ad break in the show. So I account for that in the video with this little second pause. Uh, but that's also an audio cue for me when I go in and put the podcast up in Megaphone of where to put that flag. So here's what it looks like all in one going all the way through having Deb come on the show. Next on Winfluence. Come back. Crossfade into me and Deb. Deb, I had such a, uh, Lower a fun third. time sitting in on the Deb show recently to talk about uh, storytelling. Thank you for having me on the show. We'll uh, make Lower sure we fade uh, links to that episode, my little cameo there in the show notes today. But And here we go. Now I'm, I'm editing the episode. That was a Tell odd place to freeze frame that with Deb. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, I just thought I'd uh, record that, show you guys how I'm doing it. This is basically me being a television producer and producing the show this way. And so it goes on and on. I haven't edited this whole episode yet. I got to cut some stuff up and make the interview all tight and all that good stuff. So that's what I do. Just thought I'd share. Hope that's helpful.